right, let's get the yak out. I need to get to catching crappie. I need to catch some crappies. I'll take this one with me. Looks good though. That fly does look nice. There it is. That thing looks good. I got I got confidence in it. These fish weren't cooperating at the moment, but I think that's a good fly. I think that'll work. The wind's kicking up just a little bit, but man, it feels good. That thunderstorm. That outflow from that thunderstorm really feels nice. Well, I'm glad I came out here today. Of course, I can't think of a time when I wasn't glad to come out here. Oh, dragonflies. My fly's out there in the water and nothing's touching it. I think I'm going to start fishing for crappie. While this gets a little darker, these darker conditions ought to bring these fish up. I do have my big fly rod. Maybe I should go try to catch some of those big bass over there first. I don't know what to do. Such a dilemma. Up there's a deer. There she is. That doe's always around here someplace. I don't know what's going on, but the fish ain't biting. I'm going to give up on the crappie and throw the big bass fly a few times. It's wind just shifted completely around from the other direction. It was coming basically out of the north. Now it shifted around to the southwest. I guess that upsets the fish. But even the crappie aren't biting. So I'm going to pull the boat up just a little bit and work that point where the big bass are. I'm going to ease into position here, anchor down here, and try to get some nice long casts back toward the shoreline and the edge of the weeds. See if I can't raise a big old bass. I saw a boil. Wasn't after my fly, but I saw a boil. We're just gonna work this a little bit. See, oh, there's another, another boil. I don't know if it's turtles or what. I didn't see that one. Oh Lord, there goes something nice behind me. Oh yeah, there's something. That was a good fish. Maybe I'm fishing on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, I mean, nothing's happening today. These fish aren't having anything to do with me. Whatever I'm throwing at them. That's fishing. A couple of turtles. That's fishing. That fly is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Gets me a turtle. <laughs> Hope not. Boy, there's a big turtle. Just came up over there. The nice thing about that fly is I can just let it sit there. It'll sink real slow, and then when I go to move it, sometimes, pa-pow, that's when they hit it. Maybe it'll happen today, let's see. Oh, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. Well, I guess I'll have 
guess I'll get back to crappie fishing. Oh, this is weird. One more chance with this thing. Well, I don't know what's wrong with this fly line. Either my arms are just too tired to do this or something. I'm not getting any distance out of this at all. Probably should be wade fishing. Standing up instead of sitting down in this boat. But so far, it doesn't seem to make any difference what I'm doing. I wonder if that owl will come back today. I'll keep my eyes on that cedar tree he was sitting in. Maybe he'll come back and I'll get even a better picture of him. Imagine he hangs around here a lot. There we go. There we go. Come on, fish. Probably need to go real deep or like some plastic worms or something. This ain't working. I've got these little bitty crankbaits. I probably ought to be throwing at them. I can probably catch bass and crappie with those little crankbaits. When I have trouble catching them with jigs, I don't, I don't hold out a lot of hope for a fly. All right, one more time. I don't want to give up too soon. Oh, you know, they might have they might have gone real deep. It has gotten considerably warmer in the last two weeks. It's probably heated up the surface of the water down to three or four or five feet. So they're down below that, and this fly is not going below that. It's staying up in the two to three foot range. I bet I need to get something that really goes down. But that's not near as fun with a fly rod as when they're on the surface. Nothing? Man, why? Wow. Well, let's get the jigs back out. I would like to catch some crappie. For dinner, I'm ready for them. Got my basket in there. Got my laundronette floating basket. All right, back to the spinning gear. Oh, I caught myself. Oh, I caught my rod. Oh. in now. I don't know what's keeping the jigs from working. I know they're getting down there. If I let them. Dang, another fish went behind me. Oh, it's a green heron, but boy, that's a pretty bird, isn't it? Look at all the color in that bird. Beautiful. Sometimes you have to listen to what the fish are telling you and what they were telling me is they didn't want flies or jigs. I've seen very little surface activity but I'm going to see what I can drum up with this spinner bait. It's the only one I got on me. I think it'll work. Well, there's the first volunteer on a spinner bait. Goodbye. At least I got him on film. Well, 
I don't know why they won't take a fly, but what the heck? Let me throw a spinner bait at them. There you go. There's number two. He's got his head covered with the weeds, so they quit fighting. He's got his head covered completely. There's a fish in there. There it is. <laughs> they get their eyes covered, even just one of them, and they just go limp. It comes to life here as soon as that. Oh, chill, 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 chill. 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 There you go. Nice little fishy. Spinner bait's working. I flatten that barb on it so I can get it out of here, but even that, see it's up through his eye socket. That get that's very difficult to remove. And let me get more forceps on him. Be free. Oh, thank you very much. Well, they're near the weeds anyway. Boy, that surface water is warm. I'm surprised they're up in it. I guess they wouldn't be if it was sunny. But it's smooth as can be. That wind's starting to blow a little bit now. Coming back out of the south. That thunderstorm collapsed. That's what they often do this time of day. I'm just going to keep working this edge. There you go. There's number three. There seems to be a few bass in amongst these weeds. Jumped on it. It was cool. And... Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Nice little fish. There comes a little better fish. Come on, jump, dude. Jump. Oh, oh he's getting slack on me. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Another little fishy. Oh, he's going under the boat. There's a little fishy. And that spinnerbait right in the side of his face. It's getting a little bigger. Oh, come on now. Calm down. There you go. Nice little bass. Once again, that spinnerbait got right into his eye socket. There you go. Goodbye. Thank you for coming. Oh, there's a good fish. There's a good one. I better hang on to this one. It's a good fish. Oh, whoa. That's a good one. About three pounds, probably. About three pounds. Let's see. Come on up again. Oh, there he is. Ooh, there we go. They're getting bigger. Look at that one. That's a nice fish. That's a nice one. Let me get him in and quick and get him released. You don't want to work him too hard in this warm water. Oh, he bit me. There we go. That's a good solid three pound fish. Nice one. Boy, they are warm. All right. Let me. Get that hook out of them. Barbless hook just pops right out if you can get it to right angle. Hell, he was double hooked. He was double hooked. Look, there's another fish over there. All right, buddy. Thanks for coming. Let's see if we can catch your mama. Look at there, look at there, look at there. Mr. Raccoon. Rocky Raccoon. He's out kind of early. Oh, yeah, he said, I don't like that over there. I don't like that guy over there. I might not see him anymore. <laughs> we got a good fish in a mass of weeds. Oh, yeah, there we go. Come here, fish. Get the heck out of those weeds. Get the heck out of those weeds. Oh, he ain't even that big. A good one, but he ain't that big. Come here. Come here. I know you're in there. Somewhere. 
Well, you're a decent fish. Oh, there he is. There he is. Come out of the weed to play. Took me forever to get the camera to start recording. Couldn't hit the button. Alright. Another one of those. See, no, no additional sores in that fish's mouth. That's a good one. Thanks for coming. See you later. Oh, that's always fun when they take it right at the yak. That fish was not two feet away. Well, he's gone now. <laughs> Thanks for coming. The bass are starting to bite. Boy, that last one took it right at the boat. Uh oh. Showing my privates. Showing my privates. Let me fix that problem. There we go. That's how you lose your skirt. Surprisingly enough, these bass are taking it shallow. They are still hanging around the outer edge. There he is. Way down there. That's not a very big one. That's a good one, though. That's a good one. I'll take it. I'll take it. There he comes, right there. Little fish. I'll be able to get him off without no problem. Okay, let's go. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Yeah, they're starting to bite. Thank goodness. I begin to think I didn't know how to fish. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. Two in a row. Oh, big jump. Oh, he's under the boat now. Even these little ones will mess you up if you don't get a hold of them. Come on, throw it. There he threw it. <laughs> Easy. Catch and release. Oh, I had number three in a row on. I'll let him go. Oh, there comes that green heron. There he comes right there. He's going to fly right by me. He's going to land right over there. Zoom in on that pretty bird. Only other fishermen out here. Well, me and the kingfisher. But he's catching those little frogs up there. Another bird watching. Let's do some bass catching. From bird watching to bass catching. There you go. There's another little one out of the weeds. Come on, dude, throw it. Throw it. Oh, you can throw it. Come on. Throw it out your mouth. Okay, I guess you can't. Oh, I just had a good one roll it right there. I had a good fish roll it right there. Let's see if we can get him to do it twice. Maybe he'll do it again. Cast it a little. Oh, there he comes. There he comes. There he comes. Boy, that fish came to screaming across there and didn't take it. All right, well. Let's see if we can get him to do it once again. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Oh, there he is. Oh! Missed him. That's twice. I think he'll take it a third time. Or should I switch to a fly? I probably should have switched to a fly. Let's try one more time. One more time. Let's see. I doubt if he'd do it three times. I doubt if he'd do it three times. That'd be pretty unusual. Mm, I'll tell you what, I need to 
give this dragonfly a few more tests see if the fish will pick it up I know it's a good design but for some reason I don't want to pick it up so I'm just gonna cast it back into that nice little hole right there and see if there's a big brim or maybe a little bass that might pick it up I don't know about you but that looks like a dragonfly laying on the water just ready to be eaten maybe I need to double up on the or quadruple up on the little wing feathers but that has the right profile they ought to be hitting that what's wrong with these fish maybe my dang leader sinking like that is having a bad effect on it yeah, once again the bass are fun but I need to catch some crappie for dinner and find my jigs there they are a box full of jigs let me put on a couple of these and see if I can't catch some crappie ought to sun's going down magic time a couple of jigs going with lighter ones normally I use the darker ones black bodies yellow chartreuse but these are pretty standard we'll see if these don't turn a fish head or two well the bass like it <laughs> first cast <laughs> there we go one fat crappie now I just need six or seven or eight of his buddies next cast caught his bigger buddy oh dude all right this gonna be easy couple of black bellied whistling ducks I believe that's what those are cool looking for a place to land oh, they're gonna land right over there they're coming around for the second round they're gonna land over there oh there we go Those are black bellied whistling ducks. Cool looking birds, huh? I don't see them very often. They probably won't stick around because I'm here. bent around backward trying to hold this thing still in a boat that is way harder than you think crappie seems to be my limit. I got one good one in there and one decent one. One small one. And just like the last time, I do not feel like cleaning three fish. I needed more than that to make it worth getting mosquito bit. So we're gonna let them go. Okay. Thing over. Mm -hmm. One, two, and three. Goodbye, fishies. Good luck. Well, that's enough for a Sunday. Skeeters are going to be out real good here shortly. 
No wind to blow them around. Bad news, buddy. Bad news.